what's up, everybody? It's Ingo from the Do Nots. Um, and uh, I had the utmost pleasure to listen to the new Don't Sleep record prior to its release. And uh, spoiler alert, it's mind blowing. It's just so good. But let me just start off uh, by saying that I'm pretty biased, not very objective or detached when it comes to Dave Smalley and his vocals because. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you punks will agree he's been a vital part of your musical upbringing and a trusted companion on many drunk walks home and, uh, you know, listening to stuff like uh, old Down My Lost stuff, Jack Nasty, all and the like. And um, I'm really happy to say that there's a new uh, Dave Smalley record coming up because I need more of his, of his vocals in my life, <laughs> obviously. So, um, yeah. Um, there's a song on the record called Harrisburg Graves and that one resonates with me so much because it basically sums up his complete entire career of you know all the bands that I've just mentioned that uh, Dave Smalley was involved in and you know the song I love the fact that it's fast paced uh, on the instrumental side of things but Dave's vocals don't rush anything at all like he he is really so laid back singing on this and to my mind, I think that takes a lot of self-confidence to do that. And um, the song is as simple and direct as it's deep. It's very melancholic to a certain extent. And um, to me, that's like the perfect combination and the perfect fit when it comes to, you know, punk rock. So um, I'm really, really happy for you guys to hear it sometime soon. So please check out the new Don't Sleep record. It's brilliant. And uh, I'm really happy I have yet another soundtrack for a long drunk walk home. Thanks, Dave. Hey, what's up guys? Tim McMahon from Mouthpiece here. Just got done checking out a track off the new Don't Sleep Sea Change LP. The song was called Promise Made. There was a video created to go along with the song. Really cool, fun video. Um, the track was great. Melodic hardcore with some slightly heavier parts. Um, but all done really well with that classic Dave Smalley vocal delivery. Um, call me crazy, but I felt like I was hearing little bits and pieces of throwback to Dave's all era vocal style, which uh, I love. And uh, this was very welcomed. Um, so we're looking forward to this new LP. Check it out when you get a chance. And. Uh, Thanks to Oisey and the Don't Sleep guys for letting me get a little sneak preview of the track. Take care. Promise me What you want to change The fury that remains What's up? This is Damien from As Friends Rust. I am here to talk about uh, Dead on the Inside from the new Don't Sleep. The song is killer, it's got uh, really great energy. It starts off uh, kind of surprisingly heavy with this like uh, kind of moshy hardcore part. And then um, Dave comes in, sounds incredible, uh, as good as ever, immediately transports me back to adolescence. And I love the theme of the song. Uh, the chorus has this um, uh, alive, feeling dead on the inside kind of part that's really simple, really powerful, and, and, and uh, perhaps unfortunately very uh, relatable to probably a lot of people. And um, yeah, just a killer song. I'm, uh, I'm really stoked to hear the rest of the album. Sell. The Don't Sleep song I was given is Outside In. Um, it's no secret that I'm a big DYS fan, also a huge Dag Nasty fan. So this song reminded me more of like later era Dag Nasty, maybe like Four on the Floor or Minority of One. It's a it's mid-tempo like that, except it's a little bit more raw, a little bit more rocking. Um, not quite as polished with more like backup vocals replacing the um, polished harmonies. It's super cool. I'm trying to make out the lyrics. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure it's something inspirational. Cool song, cool band. You know, putting 
doing a cover song on a record is usually a pretty gutsy move, but Don't Sleep are gutsy dudes. And Tom Petty, who they cover on this record, was also a, a gutsy dude. Uh, super punk rock. Uh, gotta remember, he brought the replacements on tour. And so that whole vibe and everything uh, just really works within the context of the Don't Sleep album, See Change, and just kind of flows seamlessly in with the rest of the track listing. And I think it's gonna be a record that people are gonna really enjoy and wanna drive around with their windows down in the summertime at maximum volume. So cheers to Don't Sleep and and Hits Records. Hey guys, Brett here from the band Ignite, and, and I just finished listening to Dave Smalley's band Don't Sleep, their brand new song 20.20. It's coming out in June, I believe, on N Hits Records. The song starts with this really cool melodic crunchy guitar riff and then the bass drums and vocals all come slamming in for verse one um we hear dave's familiar voice on a really cool mid-tempo punk rock song um we get to the chorus it's really catchy we have this cool line someday i'll be free um after the second chorus it kind of drops down into this melodic bridge it's the perfect departure from the rest of the song doesn't go on too long it makes an interesting change for us and then we're back into the last chorus and for me this is what i want to hear dave smalley do in 2023 i think it's the it's a great song and i think you need to check it out One of the things I've always loved about Dave Smalley's voice is that there is a lot of power there, obviously, but he never forsakes melody for power. And you hear that in, in Dag Nasty, you hear that in the work he did with All, and he keeps it going on, on the new Don't Sleep record. And I singled out Generation um, because it's a great old school hardcore song but uh, with a mosh break in the middle and everything, but it also has uh, just an optimism to it and even a sweetness that comes through because Dave Smalley is singing it. And, and that just is, is a really fun uh, throwback to why I fell in love with punk rock in the first place. Can I say is one of the greatest albums of all times. Uh, so as soon as I heard about Don't Sleep, I got psyched. Then they did some stuff with Reaper Records, which is one of my best friends and favorite labels. So that was cool. Now to see them on end hits is great. So we can be super label mates. The song's excellent. Looking forward to the new record. I hear some hot water music and some Sam I Am in it, which is great. Two bands I love. So, uh, Really cool, thanks for letting me be a part of this and look forward to hearing the whole album. Checking out the Don't Sleep song. Digging it, man, loving it. Nice work, Dave, and the guys. Got you to feel, you know what I mean? Like, no, why? Don't know why, but DOA keeps popping up, you know, when I'm listening to this track. You know, sometimes I make those connections, you know, when you listen to a song, something I love, you know, my youth and band inspired me, you know, so I guess it's good. It's got that connection, you know what I'm saying? So, um, all I got to say is go out there and pick up that new Don't Sleep record. I'm digging it, I'm liking it. 
why not support my brother? Cheers. Cheers.